it, you can see the large uh, uh, black uh, blade on top is uh, our UHF antenna. The two back from that is the uh, gray cylinder on top, and it's basically a photodiode. And uh, what we use that for is to uh, help us to balance the blades on the uh, on the aircraft. Um, each blade uh, has a certain uh, vibration to it uh, that's within normal parameters. Um, the way it used to be done uh, in the old days was they, they would stand with a staff pretty much with a piece of chalk on top and they would hold it and where the blades would strike the piece of chalk they would be able to determine how you know if it was in balance or not so uh, <laughs> so they don't do that anymore obviously <laughs> what a carriage man <laughs> yeah. so uh, basically they came up with this system it's an automatic system uh, basically using the, uh, the, the light frequency uh, as it comes through to measure uh, the frequency of the light as it comes through and also the flap of the blade uh, as it goes through the air. So based on that you can, uh, you can adjust the trim tabs Itself, uh, to help balance uh, the blade. Do you have a retro reflector on the blade to, re to return better light? Uh, uh, no, but what we do have to do is uh, the other sides have to be painted black to contrast better. Yes. And can you say about the sensor in the door, the vibration sensors? Oh, yes. Um, uh, we have uh, vibration sensors uh, throughout the aircraft um, and basically uh, it measures the IPS. You're familiar with IPS, uh, inches per second with the vibration um, and each location has a certain frequency uh, that it measures and so we can tell uh, if components that have pumps are going bad uh, based on the frequency that uh, they're operating in. So it helps us to maintain the uh, integrity of the aircraft over a longer period of time um, with the components not going out before they should. And if they are, we can recognize it earlier and get those replaced. So it takes, uh, with those vibration sensors, you know, basically we can measure the stress on the aircraft itself.